for all of our growth and promotions at Social 5. Many of you have talked to me uh, at certain stages of the game for different contests and for targeted advertising. This is our Q4 contest for the World Series, and we are excited. I'm excited as a baseball fan. We've tried to have a lot of variety for the whole year with uh, different prime prize giveaways uh, each quarter. And as most of you know, we had uh, March Madness tickets for uh, the National Basketball Championship back in Q1, uh, and then we went to our Disneyland package for a family of four, then the Hawaii giveaway, uh, airfare for two people to Hawaii that just concluded, and now this will be Disney, I'm sorry, World Series, which is two tickets to Game 3 of the 2015 World Series. I want to start by just going through the analytics from that Disneyland contest a little bit to demonstrate some of the value, and it, and it may be redundant on some levels, but I think it's valuable just to see uh, how big of a social marketing tool this really is. And um, so let's just go through this a little bit. We're going to talk about the principles of why contesting is a valuable tool, uh, how it can be used both for your brand building and for traffic and engagement on your pages uh, from customers and, and qualified leads. So we'll go over those analytics, then we'll preview the World Series assets and, and explain exactly all of the elements that will go along with that and uh, explain a little bit about how we can make it the most successful contest possible for you. So in principle, I mean, the reason we do sweepstakes and the reason Facebook has pioneered this for so long is that, you know, we want to win things. People um, love free stuff. They love giveaways. They love the sign up. They love the thrill of it. And uh, we want to make sure to make these as inclusive as possible. And so that's always been difficult to do when you have businesses and, and companies that want to sell their products or they want to give product away all the time. That can be fine, but we found that you really want to make it more of an experience-based you know, giveaway, something that's more memorable if you're doing it with you know, your spouse or family or a loved one. And, and that's, you know, th those are memorable and they last a longer you know, in, in your psyche anyway. So that's why we've made these experience-based. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about $20 gift card is fine, but if you make it a, an outing, that's more memorable. We've actually gone well beyond that, as you know, and, and we're doing these as, as major prize giveaways. So no more small ball. We're not doing gift cards. We're doing destination prizes, and uh, certainly the World Series qualifies. When we go back to Disneyland, this is a breakdown of a little bit uh, of how it looked for those of you that participated, for those of you that didn't. You see the landing page there. The four pieces uh, highlighted in the middle are you know, the weekly promotional posts that we rotated in and out that had direct links to your individual Facebook page. Uh, so this was back uh, in May and, and June. And as you can see, we had the same app technology, the intelligence built in to do email collection, email capture sometimes it's called, and uh, that's valuable as a sales tool too because you, you know, will be able to go and tell people that once you get, a, you know, you entice people to sign up because they're going to be interested in the prize, you'll keep that email, put it into your email marketing database, and then you can go and use those for drip campaigns or any future email marketing you want to do from now on, and, and that's the real long-lasting value you get from these contests. And so then at the, uh, the bottom, it's a little small to see, but these are the three, three examples of the targeted ads that we placed on Facebook uh, to drive traffic and sign-ups, frankly, to, to the Disneyland contest, and it really worked. Uh, you can see the number there that it increased social media traffic uh, by an average of 276%. So that's not, uh, that's not small. This was the winner. We put a congratulations post out uh, with Jessica and her daughter there, who was perfect Disneyland age. I think she was eight years old, and so she was thrilled. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's always nice to see the human touch and see the real winners uh, from these contests. And so people connect with it. They know it's real, and it, it certainly is. Um, Breaking it down further, I don't want to go through this in, in too much detail. Uh, if you want to 
read through, you'll see that the impressions were, you know, a huge win for people just by participating and in these, you know, six-week contests. Uh, it's it's up 88 percent. You can see the average views over 11,000. And um, then look at the look at the way that the engagement works down below. Um, that's you know measured by any measure of, of liking, which we always want to get uh, long long lasting page likes. But then if people just put a comment on, if they click, if they share, all of that goes toward engagement, and that increased over 56 percent uh, per contest page, which is a, a huge number. I mean you're doubling all your interaction on your page, and then that's going to pay dividends for people who are more likely to come back and be frequent visitors to the page who will, you know, when they're sharing it, you can gain new audience that way. Same with stories, um, you know, making a, an average of 134 posts uh, during the contest, and that's nearly a 50% increase as well. So big numbers, big impact. Uh, and we saw this across the board. There will be some variety, you know, and it often depends on how well individuals who have the contest loaded promote it, you know, to your professional network and your family and friends. I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later, but those are, are tools that can help as well. This is a look at the World Series now that we are just launching. So, again, it's two tickets to Game 3 of the World Series. We don't know what city that it will be in until the playoffs get through and they settle on uh, the NLCS and ALCS and, and so we couldn't designate any of that obviously but we, we know that we will have the tickets available and uh, so there will be some intrigue as October plays out if people are, are fans of Major League Baseball uh, to get ready and I believe that the Game 3 will, is set on a weekend it's either a Friday or Saturday based on the MLB schedule, so that's convenient for the ultimate winner. And any Social Life customer is eligible, uh, and you know we will. The rules apply the same way they did for Hawaii last time and for Disneyland. So if you're familiar, you know we want you to tell employees, we want you to tell family and friends, we want you to pass it along to your email lists, personal Facebook pages. Encourage people to come check out your incredible new, you know, professional contest. You know, build excitement, generate that buzz, and tell everybody they are certainly eligible to win. Contest will run until October 12th, and uh, you see the cost there. This is inclusive of all of the targeted advertising, and we will also be boosting two of the custom content posts from now, you know, between now and and the last date there, in mid October. And that will generate more traffic uh, and, and more audience in and of itself. And then behind the scenes, we will have the Facebook advertising that, that most of you are familiar with, but it does a wonderful job at targeting in your geographic and demographic market uh, so that you get real qualified leads coming to this and, and building over time. Um, obviously, it includes the app with the email data collection, the, the email capture we talked about, uh, the legal oversight, which we've done. This is a question that many people have had, you know, will my business be in trouble by hosting such a contest or giving away a high value prize? No, you will not. We have done our uh, vetting legally. All of that is clear to see uh, on the landing page and uh, through various ways to click on and read through the fine legalese if, if you're so inclined. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it over and over, but it's all there for for people if you're concerned. Uh, the only place that it's not available is Rhode Island, and that has to do with the threshold amount uh, of the prize itself and their regulatory laws in, in the state of Rhode Island. So uh, the prize fulfillment, the actual cost of the tickets, is not paid or, or borne by you in any way. We, we fulfill that uh, for the tickets. And so Pardon me there. Let's take a look at the landing page again, and you will see how this works when, when you break it all down. Um, you see that there's a name, email, and an optional phone field down here on the bottom of, of the landing page. And it's required to put both the name and email, so you know it won't let people try to enter without doing that. 
uh, and that's that's going to be a good guarantee to help build your email databases and um, phone numbers. Frankly, you know, some people stop at that, and so that's why we've left that optional. We want to make this as user friendly an interface as possible, and and this you know uh, efficient as possible, so people just know it, it takes a second or two to, to sign up and enter. Uh, and so, short term, obviously we're, we're building the growth. And people are engaging with your page. They're seeing your brand. They might be interested. Or they might learn something about you through your Facebook page that they didn't know. And then long term, you know, you have the ability to market to them by email. On that left hand column of your Facebook page, where you usually will see uh, a website tab or a tab maybe to another social channel, sometimes it's LinkedIn or Twitter, we have installed uh, our own custom World Series contest tab. And that's a way to link directly to the landing page and sign up page every time. That will be live on your page through the duration. Uh, all of the graphics have been done professionally. And again, the rules and regulations at the bottom where it says contact rules is accessible to that landing page. So we are ready to have this all installed uh, the minute that, that you sign up. Again, here is a look at the four custom uh, posts that will have links to the sign up page each week. Look for those at the beginning of each week. We want to get people when they're fresh uh, back to work and you know maybe they they log on first thing in the morning, and, and here it is. So um, those are two of the posts uh, that will be boosted as well, um, one toward the end of September and then again in uh, the first or second week of October so that we keep momentum going through this, this entire campaign. We, we don't want people to think that the contest is, is old, um, and so that's a, a nice way we found uh, to keep traffic coming to your page and, and keep building interest. Here's a look at the targeted advertising. Again, some of you have used this and you, you wouldn't see the ads necessarily because they're going out to your target audience, but here's a look, kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes uh, as an example. You, we we're focusing on the prize and it's all baseball themed. We want to appeal to uh, to people's interest in winning. Uh, but more than that, we want to target, you know, to, to build business for you. And so uh, we go and do a very thorough placement review through the Facebook review process. Uh, and then we have different versions, as you can see here. And sometimes if it doesn't perform to the level that meets our standards of satisfaction, we pull one ad down. Derek, it looks like we might have lost your audio. Are you still there? Derek, are you there? I'm sorry, you guys. It looks like we may have, have lost Derek. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got several of you saying that it looks like we've lost audio. Um, building. Oh, <laughs> Derek, can you hear sorry. me? I can hear you, Katie. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we've lost your audio, but I can hear oh. you now. So, can you go back um, a little bit and uh, just to maybe yeah. to that slide? Sorry about that. No problem. Did everybody? I'll come back to this page here. Are you with me on the Facebook targeted advertising? You see the three slides here for the ads. Looks Am I seeing some? Yeah, okay, good. Sorry about the, uh, the glitch in the audio. Anyway, this is an example, again, of the targeted advertising that we place through Facebook Review, and it's designed to keep momentum going and keep traffic coming through new signups to the contest, and uh, 
we uh, have seen as a general rule of thumb that you'll reach 10,000 people in your target market for each of these contests. Oftentimes it even exceeds that number and uh, we hope to do that uh, this time around as well. There is a standard you know, best practices rule that uh, for advertising you can expect to get a uh, one click per dollar spent but uh, we've tried to exceed that metric and, and keep it closer to the 30 to 70 cent range so you get more you know more value for for your uh, your spend with the contest and that's always been true also been true in our three prior contests and we hope to keep that that going and then finally I mean once you have these live for the duration of the contest and you have the professional look of it it really does lend your Facebook page in an instant credibility uh, and, and some sophistication too. You know, you know, people love to do pictures of cute animals or maybe somewhat more gimmicky small value prize giveaways. And this is the opposite of that. I mean, this looks uh, really big time. I mean, big league if you want to make the baseball analogy. But uh, that's that's by design because we want your page, your contest to be memorable for people so that you know they'll tell people about it, they might share it, uh, if they come back to you for another reason in the future they might be looking for a contest you know early next year all of that is, is part of the credibility that, that we're hoping to build. Here is another look at the actual legal disclosure, the rules and regulations that our attorneys have, have provided after doing a very thorough vet uh, in you know nationwide, the only exception is, uh, as I mentioned, Rhode Island, because they have a smaller uh, amount, a prize amount that they can do for sweepstakes on social media channels. So their regulatory restrictions kicked in, but it's not an issue, including in New York and California and Florida and some of the others that uh, tend to be a little bit uh, stricter on on its regu the regulatory reviews, they, they still qualify. So that's all here for you to read through and for anybody that is entering they can read this as well. And finally we're going to talk about the ways you can promote it and the ways you can spread the word so that you really leverage the World Series contest uh, to the widest possible audience and, and make it a success. A success. Uh, really it's getting the word out and, and that can mean you know at a dinner party saying hey you need to check out my Facebook page and I've got a brand new World Series contest we're, we're sending two people to game three this year you know the, the buzz factor of that alone you'd be surprised will will spread by word of mouth and so don't be shy about about bragging about it frankly tell tell people uh, through your business network tell people in personal email tell people on any other social channel that you're on you know and and then what we'll do is we will gather your email contacts if you haven't sent them already send them to us and as part of this effort uh, we will send out multiple emails to your audience telling them encouraging them uh, prompting them to sign up you know explaining the benefit of it and and that's still a hugely impactful way to reach people you know as much as we're all on our smartphones and flipping through Pinterest and Instagram and everything every day, it emails still uh, the biggest connection in social media and it's it's a great way to reach people for the contest. So so think about that if you haven't sent us your email contacts, please do that uh, for extra traction. Then the advertising as we mentioned is so key. I mean behind the scenes we have seen that when we did Final Four, um, people's traffic went up by 10 times the amount of, of normal uh, and, and including for the people who didn't have advertising during the contest so this package includes that it includes you know the live Facebook ad that will that will be on there through mid-October plus the two paid promotions for those individual posts uh, that will be a secondary level of, of promotion uh, to, to keep the momentum going and then encourage people uh, through their personal Facebook pages, you know, 
tell them to share uh, the contest and to tell their own friends. And uh, if anybody has interest in baseball or they're a casual sports fan but they think it would be cool to go, I know I, I would love to go. Uh, this is a great way to just spread that word and, and get it out. And so we'll send you weekly tips and tricks uh, as a direct email to you on different components uh, that are happening with the contest and also different, you know, just just insights uh, reminding you of the ways you can promote it on your own. Uh, another part of this is a um, custom-built uh, counter display that's a printable high-end, high-design version that uh, we'll send you right away. And if you have, you know, a brick and mortar or you want to display something in an office, it will have a link back to the landing page, and that's another terrific way to to build participation. So that is the presentation uh, from my end. I just wanted to throw this up to the group. Uh, if you have any questions, this is a this is the time for you. Anybody at all? I'm looking through the list. I see. Hopefully everyone can still hear me. All you right. Have any the one the one I see here, Derek, is someone is asking um, the cost of the of the um, advertising campaign. Okay. Yeah, the advertising. So the seven fifty includes everything. That's the the app installation. That is the contest management. That is the weekly posts. Uh, that is the targeted ads, the placement of the ads, the boosting, uh, that will be you know, the contest fulfillment, the legal disclosure, just all of these elements we, we discussed is, is included in that price. And so uh, you get it all, <laughs> essentially. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, let's see. Are these these may be old? I'm seeing something about. Yeah, I think these. Here's one be. about. Here's one, Derek. If the winner of the two tickets cannot afford the airfare or or cannot attend for some reason, um, can they sell the tickets? Do we pick a different winner? How does that work if they can't? Uh, uh, I was just looking at the same thing. Yeah. Um, thanks, Larry. I. No, we we will verify that the winner is, you know, planning to attend, and. Uh, and we'll we'll reach out to them and and talk to them. Uh, in each case, you know, it, it hasn't been an issue. They're not trying to game the system. They've been so excited uh, that that you know, especially well in each case. But I, I talked to the Hawaii winner last quarter, and she and her husband were beyond thrilled. You know, so no, we would not send the tickets to somebody to to turn around and sell them um, on eBay or any other. You know, Craigslist or anything like that. There's another one. How can we privately talk more? Well, tell you what, Kathleen, I'll follow up with you. Just uh, just reach out to me. It's uh, Derek D E R E K at social5.com. Send me an email, and uh, we can we can follow up offline. And then uh, question about the basic contest was 129. What does that Include okay, yeah. You saw uh, a different email. Uh, it looks like Glenn that is the non-advertising version. Uh, send me an email as well, and uh, we can I can explain more detail about that. Again, it's Derek D E R E K at social5.com, and uh, we'll follow up that way. Anybody else? Any other questions? Looks like we are just launching this week, and so. You know, we're excited. Uh, we can have it loaded on your page immediately, and then we can have the first post on there immediately as well. So it doesn't take any time to get signed up. Derek, it looks like there's one more question. It says, can I advertise to a group as well as an individual? Well, what do you mean when you, when you say advertise? It's, it, a lot of that de is dependent on what... Facebook, what you know, what individual Facebook users who you're targeting, and that's by you know, your geographic market uh, first and foremost, and then what industry-specific 
subjects that they've shared uh, through Facebook. Facebook is second to Google, you know, the best company in the world in, in data collection, and they, they track and, and log everything. So we're base, you know, we're basing the success of the advertising on what people share with Facebook, and that's the way by which your ad reaches them, if that makes sense. If it happens to be a group uh, or another business, and they're in your geographic market and they're in your industry, they may very likely receive the advertising. It's also enabled for mobile, and so you know, nearly 60% of all users are, are accessing things on their smartphone or tablets, and all of the advertising, all of the weekly you know, promotional posts, and every other asset as, as part of the graphics package will be loaded to mobile so people will get the contest in real time how, whatever device they're using and that's true of the advertising as well. All right, well that looks like all the questions. Anybody else? Last call? All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. And like Derek said, if you have any questions, feel free to email him directly at Derek at social5.com. Um, he is the go-to guy for anything with um, Facebook advertising, contests, anything like that. So he's really great at what he does, and um, we're so lucky to have him here at Social 5. So um, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to follow up with us. Otherwise, we'll see you back here in a couple of weeks for the next S5U. Thanks so much. Thanks, everyone.